previously with Rob and Sherry, they get their RV black tank pressure washed and later repair the black tank valve. And in this episode, you get to go through the process of washing your RV. So today is bath day for the RV. So Todd hired him again to wash our rig up. So let's see if I can get him not in the sun here. Scrubbing away. Hi guy. <laughs> so we got the sun in the wrong spot here, but it's starting to cool off here a little bit. And uh, since it's cooling off, I thought it'd be a good time to hire a car to give the RV a good bath. That's the rig right there. And we'll see if we can get some better shots of them with the other camera. All right, so this is Todd. Hello, everybody. And he's washing our rig. And so, what's your process for washing rigs, uh, especially in in the Phoenix area? Well, the uh, the best way to do it. There's some other people that would uh, just use regular water. We use deionized water. We have a DI tank on the trailer, uh, which takes all the hardness out of the water, especially on these bigger rigs. Here, you can't dry them fast enough, and they're going to spot real bad. So what we do is uh, we filter the water, runs through into a 200 gallon tank, so we're completely mobile, which uh -huh. I highly recommend. Having your own water on board if you can, get a big enough trailer so you don't have to rely on hooking up to water somewhere. A lot of, a lot of places won't allow you to hook up to water. Uh -huh. So the first thing we do is we'll, we'll get a, a bucket. We have a specially formulated degreaser that we use. It's a good idea to get these rubber roofs clean. They'll get real, uh, they'll start to deteriorate over time and uh, they'll start to flake off and you'll get a white film. So what we do is go on the roof first. So it doesn't make sense to not clean the roof, clean the sides, because <laughs> everything's just gonna ooze down the sides anyway. Yeah. So we clean the side, the top and the uh, leading edge here really good. And of course we go around the entire coach uh, with the degreaser. It cleans out all these, uh, these trim pieces here. Um, all the uh, caulking around, whether it be clear or white, uh, it gets really dirty. Yeah. So we go around, you can see the difference between the caulking here and this caulking here, how it's kind of yellow. You can see how it's white there. Yeah. So we just scrub it, go all the way around it, um, clean the wheels and tires, and uh, then we use a water-based silicone dressing on the wheels and tires. Um, it's not like Armor All, it doesn't have alcohol and solvents and stuff in it, so it won't uh, do any damage to the tires. <coughs> Uh, I recommend using a water-based silicone dressing on the vinyl rubber plastic on these coaches. Yeah. And then we use the same dressing, same treatment on the rubber roof to uh, to restore the uh, moisture in it, make sure it's not going to flake apart. Sweet. And pretty much dry the windows and we're done. Cool. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. So, so what's happening here? Uh, you know, overspray from the trailer. <laughs> Wash the truck too. Yeah, this is like a bonus feature. I get, yeah. I get, I get the truck washed too. Buy one, get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. You may have noticed we have featured Todd in many of our videos lately. Todd is just a gentleman and a good friend and a very good worker. He cares about the job he does and he cares about his customers. And I just want to thank Todd personally for all of his help. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.